the day before Christmas and I asked you to get a tree. God, I know I should have done it myself. I can't trust you with anything. They do it because they're hurting on the inside. They've never been loved like you. <laughs> they can just sit at home, watching their plasma, you know, playing their Xbox until four o'clock in the morning because they don't have to get up at 7 a.m. and join the rat race like the rest of us. We're paying for their room and board. I don't lose any sleep over it, love. Daniel's a nasty piece of work. It wasn't attempted murder, though, was it? What's the matter with you, love? You haven't been much of yourself recently. Is there something you need to tell me? Okay. Well, I'll go to bed then. Good night, honey. Do you know what it's like to face a world with no one that cares about you? No one that you can trust? I just play along. I keep quiet and I've got a way of pretending not to take the pills. How do I get out of here? You can't. Why not? Other girls have tried and failed. This place is like a prison. <laughs> They aren't unemployed because they can't get jobs. The system provides ways for the underprivileged to go out and get jobs. But these scallywags, they would, they would rather be drug dealers because it's easier for them. So what are you saying? Are you saying they're cloning us or something? I don't know. All I know is I have to get out of here and I have to get home to my family. They could be in danger. I knew was that I'd failed him in some mysterious way and that I wasn't able to give him the help that he needed and was unable to speak of and I'm ready to give them a fight that they won't forget.